if there's something that I like to show you guys besides fitness and diet and nutrition is how simple it could be and how uncomplicated, well, I guess it's the same word, but sometimes there are days where it's not as simple. Something as simple as looking for ingredients. And I'm going to show you what that's like today. So that is coming up right now. Welcome everyone to Do More, Be More. There is no way we're going out without shoes. So what are we wearing today? I'm only a low key sneaker head. Today I want to go with some 13s. I only have what I feel like getting whenever I can and that's it. So let's get on out of here. Okay, so by some miracle it's 60 degrees so I get to just go out with a hoodie. Maybe I won't even need it, but we gotta pick up a few items because I am also filming a recipe video which I may be able to talk about. It's gonna be my beefy macaroni, which if you follow me on Facebook, TikTok, or Instagram, you would have seen my tease at that at that menu. But um, and I'm gonna make that today. And then this morning I had to film a quick omelet video. So we've been pretty busy, but I already have all the ingredients I need for this recipe. The problem is that I'm so tight on my schedule is that I got work later for about from three to seven and then afterwards I, I arranged a study that I need to take care of. So after that, we should finally be able to relax but maybe some editing after. Let's get some ingredients. So I am trying to make this video as short as possible but at the same time we are gonna do some multitasking. I'm going to make the video as I'm shopping for my ingredients for my other video while I am filming. I don't know what I just said, but let's go. So I got so off track that I don't even, I didn't even realize which film I was going to be filming on this one. So this video, I mentioned that I was, I was mentioning the uh, beefy Mac, like if it was on a coming up in another video, but it's this one. This is the one that we're filming today. Um, I got to pick up some stuff because I want to make some burgers later, but at the same time, just to give you an idea of what ingredients I'll be using, beefy Mac, as me, Mac, <sighs> macaroni. I'm not going to be using macaroni because I couldn't get it. But regardless of what kind of pasta it is, it's going to be the chickpea pasta. Uh, they, they have, uh, Banza has uh, linguine, they have the elbows, they have like the macaroni style. They have the, um, I think it's fettuccine, I don't know. But um, I'm gonna get the Banza chickpea pasta. It's not gonna be macaroni, it's not gonna mix like that. Uh, I'm gonna be using lean beef. I'm gonna get, I think it's 93, actually I think it's 96% fat free. I'm gonna be getting, I'm gonna use a little olive oil, uh, some salt, some pepper, some, some like burger seasoning. So for lack of a better term, um, you wanna you know, just have everything ready. And then these are basically a lot of things that you have to just let cook. So the prep is very, very quick. It's just letting it cook is gonna take you some time. So this is what I got here. Um, I got some cold cuts, 50 calories. You get eight grams of protein. And I need almond milk because I feel like drinking protein shakes at times. And this is interesting, crystal buns. I came looking for these protein bagels, but um, I didn't find them. So these are 150 with six grams of protein. That's still not bad, six grams of protein. 150 is not terrible. Um, I just want to make sure that, you know, we, if, if it has that, that bun taste, that actual bread taste instead of like some fake style, uh, that should be good. These are some clothes that I was supposed to bring to Goodwill, but I have not, but that day is coming. I still have not found the fat free cream cheese, but I needed some more Coke Zero. I got some fat free cheddar. I got another beef because we're going to be making burgers. So we're getting 93, 93 and 7% fat. We're not getting the 90, uh, I think it's 96 because, like, relax. Get a hold of yourself. So it looks like fat free cream cheese is not trying to be found today. I mean, I didn't bother looking at Aldi because they just never carry fat-free cream cheese or any kind of cheese. They always have like part skim or low moisture. Aldi did not have it. That's usually where I go. And uh, now we're gonna have to go to Fairway. So here we go. So 
So they did not have the fat-free cream cheese either, but they did have whipped cream cheese, which I'm guessing the way it's made is probably better. Uh, it's only 50 calories per serving as opposed to regular cream cheese, which is 30 or 35 calories per serving, uh, which is for this amount of two tablespoons, which is pretty good if you're having a bagel. It only has one gram of protein, but I don't care. I just want to taste some cream cheese as far as this goes. And this, not like a fat-free version of this, so it's still low calorie without being fat-free, so it's going to taste good, which is proof that I don't care if something is fat-free or not. I just want as few calories as possible. And if this has that good taste, we are considering this a win. Now, when you're as active as I am, you can pretty much make a lot of room for eating a little more or eating foods that are you probably enjoy more. So I'm having a slice of pizza, one, because I don't have a lot of time, and man, there's a lot of grease on that. So let me actually get rid of that. Um, and then also, on top of the active lifestyle that I already have, I'm actually very active when I go to the gym. I've been more conscious of cardio, so now I add a lot more cardio and that's been balancing things out. But the rest of my meals throughout the day, when I have meals like this, I also have really, really high protein and low calorie foods. So you have to compensate one way or another. And that's all for today, guys. And I hope you've enjoyed my little mission that I had going looking for some cream cheese and among other things that I was shopping for. You have an idea of what it's like. I plan on doing a day in the life kind of vlog and I was doing one, but I wasn't satisfied with it. So I have another one coming up soon. But I do hope you enjoyed the, this content and that'll be all for today. And uh, definitely continue leaving comments if you feel inclined to do so. I appreciate the like, sharing and subscribing. And that is all again. Follow me on TikTok, on Facebook and on Instagram. And of course, if you do, more you will be more